So in the previous mode called the blend mode, it was just to get quick kind of rough outlines. So I would, you shouldn't worry too much. And I'm using, by the way, the, uh, the, the right mouse button to move around and kind of look. And I know this doesn't look like me. And it, even at the end, you, you do your best. But the move in the sculpt tool is really where a lot more of the refinement will come and start happening. So one of the things you want to do, as I if you recall in the last video, is that you want to use your your model, uh, your mood board, basically, and try to, you know, make it look a little bit more like that. Uh, and as you can see, and what I'll do here is kind of go like that. And you'll see sometimes there's kind of these these arrow tools. I have my left mouse button down and maybe uh, and how would I know I go to this model and I look at my nose okay well it's a little closer it's not perfect let's have a look at the ears you should do one part at a time so my ears are a little bit bigger than this guy's here and maybe if I click on on this and play around here can I alt tab while I still have my finger down it's not perfect but I'm gonna go like that it's a little closer um what about so a little bit over here i could bring that board just a little bit so you're trying to get you know and i press the middle mouse button to click up and down so just like this so i'm trying to see so let's have a look at the jaw now i'm again quickly okay i'm doing this quickly uh, you will have a little bit more time and let's go uh and the chin kind of similar but you might have I'll go like that what about the eyes I'm gonna definitely my eyes are a little bit more like that not too much maybe this okay so you get the sense here what the move tool does all right so now I'm gonna go to the sculpt tool I'm gonna do both of them in one video because really you're gonna take way more time than I'm doing here because really it's a precision activity, meaning you should take one part at a time, the nose, the mouth, the eyes, the ears, and don't worry about the hair because that's in the next uh, phase. Uh, but, you know, what you want is the form of the head. I'm going to click on the sculpt tool. You're going to see right away that now it's really broken down to a lot of dots, okay? And each one of these can be moved individually. And I'm going to just see if there's a dot at the top here. I'm pretty sure I have a bigger forehead than this guy. So what I'm going to do is try to get that in here. Okay, somehow. So a little bit there. Not perfect. He has, like I said, way more hair than me. Very jealous. Um, but that's kind of what you're, you're, you're basically doing is going to the different dots, going to your mood board, and trying to use your best judgment and you know obviously this uh, model is younger than i am so those are the skin textures is another thing we're going to talk about in another video uh let's check the earlobe here i can move this back a little bit uh, and then like rotate and look around so uh this here see the front of the face no I know I'm, I'm kind of going really fast here and it won't be as close as it should be and the eyebrows I'll change later and it's hard to say because I have a mustache or and he doesn't really okay so basically just go through the different tools move up you know rotate and and slowly click around and try different things then have a look maybe a teacher if you talk to your teacher maybe they'll allow you to have your friends give you some feedback my advice though with feedback because if somebody's modeling themselves is to be very uh, careful in your comments so that it's not offensive and uh, upsets anybody because none of us are perfect and sometimes doing an activity like this can be a little bit uh, uh, you know challenging but uh, if you have any other questions, please let me know and take your time, iterate, do part by part, and that's really the secret. Okay, thank you very much.